Hi, this is Heidi. I'm here with Charlotte and we're going to go over things you must be able to handle if you want to have a cat. Otherwise, you shouldn't get one. So number one on the list is cat claws. Cats have claws. It's natural for them to want to scratch on things. So you'll need to provide an appropriate outlet such as cat towers or the cardboard uh, scratcher things. Those are pretty inexpensive. But they'll have to be replaced occasionally. Please do not declaw your cat. It's not humane, so just don't do it. If you really need a cat that's declawed, wait for one to be surrendered to your local shelter and then adopt that one. Another thing you'll need to be able to handle is uh, scooping litter boxes. If you can't scoop a litter box, uh, please don't get a cat. That's one maintenance thing about cats is having to deal with the litter box. And it needs to be scooped every day, maybe twice a day. And you might have cats that have misses sometimes. So that things like that, you'll just have to be able to handle. Or you can get a litter robot or a different automatic system, but those still have some maintenance, like refilling them and cleaning them occasionally. You'll need to make sure you can provide a proper environment for your cat. That includes things like cat beds and cat towers, or you can just make sure they have a spot on the couch, a spot in the window, someplace they can call their own when they want to get away and relax. And your cat will also need love and attention. Now you should only pet your cat when the cat wants to be petted. You shouldn't ever force your cat to be in her lap or do things that are going to upset your cat. So just provide basic respect and love and teach children how to handle cats and be nice to cats. Like cats will be part of your family, so they need to be treated well. You also need to be able to provide proper care for your cat. That includes uh, fresh water every day or getting a cat water fountain and being able to take your cat to the vet when they're sick. I mean, there's some ongoing costs for cats like food, proper food. The annual vet visit's important because your vet can uh, catch things that you're not going to notice on your own, like uh, dental issues and vaccinate your cat, things like that. Those things are important for your cat's health. And you'll have to make sure you can handle getting your cat fixed. A free kitten can grow up to make a lot more kittens or have a lot more kittens. So make sure if you adopt a free kitten that you, once it's at appropriate age, you get the cat fixed. Or if you adopt a cat from someone, uh, make sure you get the cat fixed. If you can't handle fixing your cat, if you don't have money even for a low cost clinic, then you probably have bigger life problems and should not be adding a cat to your life. The best way to help with cat overpopulation problem is to spay and neuter your cat. Thank you very much. And if you adopt a kitten, you also be, need to be able to handle that their adult personality might not match their kitten personality. Sometimes adult cats, they change when they become an adult. They might not want as much attention. They might prefer to be alone a lot more. So that's another thing that you'll have to consider. And you'll also have to consider when you want to travel. So when you're going to be away for a while, a few days, I would say anything more than one overnight, you'll want someone to come in and check on your cats, a friend or family member to make sure that they uh, have fresh water, enough food, that they're doing okay, scoop their litter box, just make sure everything's going okay with the cat. And you also need to be able to handle if your cat ends up needing medication when they're older or dealing with any kind of sickness later in their life. Like we had a cat that had thyroid disease, she needed a pill every day and she needed that pill twice a day for three years. So the cats are usually easy pets, but things can go wrong with cats too. Your cat can get diabetes, things like that. So you'll have to be able to handle uh, 
cat care for anything that comes up. They can have eye issues. I mean, just things can happen with cats, just like uh, with humans. So if you can handle all those things, uh, you can get a cat and cats are wonderful. I love cats. They, as I described, they do take some care and maintenance and you need to provide some things for them. But cats are lovely. And as you can see, I'm okay with a cat on the table because when we want to sit here and have dinner, all we have to do is clean off the table and then the table's clean and it's fine if the cat wants to sit here with me when we're not eating. So thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day and enjoy your cats if you decide to get one.